There comes a time in everyone's life when we experience the pain of people leaving us. It could be a friend who moves away, a loved one who passes on, or a relationship that comes to an end. This pain is universal and it touches the hearts of all, regardless of race or creed. As a child of God, we are not exempt from such experiences, but we are given the strength to endure and the wisdom to learn from them. In the Bible, we find countless examples of people who face the challenge of separation from their loved ones. One of the most heart-wrenching stories is that of Ruth and Naomi. Naomi, or widow, decided to return to her homeland of Bethlehem after the death of her husband and two sons in Moab. She urged her daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpah, to go back to their families and start anew. Orpah eventually agreed, but Ruth refused to leave Naomi. This story is a powerful example of loyalty and love, but it also highlights the reality that sometimes people leave because they believe it is in the best interest of both parties. Then there's the story of Joseph, whose brothers sold him into slavery out of jealousy. As Joseph journeyed through life, enduring hardships and gaining wisdom, he came to understand that God's hand was at work in every aspect of his life, including the painful departure of his brothers. The separation from his family prepared Joseph for a greater purpose, and ultimately the reconciliation and restoration of his family. Another profound biblical example is found in the New Testament when Jesus told his disciples that he would be leaving them to return to the Father. The disciples, understandably, were filled with grief and confusion. They had walked with Jesus, seen the miracles he performed and heard his teachings, and now he was about to leave them. Yet Jesus promised them that his departure was for their benefit, for he would send the Holy Spirit to be their helper, comforter, and guide. And these stories and many others in the Bible teach us that there are various reasons why people leave us. Sometimes they leave because they believe it's best for everyone involved. Sometimes they leave due to external circumstances beyond their control. And sometimes they leave because their purpose has been fulfilled. But one thing remains constant, God's unwavering love and presence in our lives. As we endure the pain of separation, it's essential to remember that God is always with us. He is our constant companion and his love never fails. When people leave us, it doesn't mean that we're alone or unloved. God's love is more significant and more profound than any human relationship. And his presence is a source of comfort, guidance and strength. Moreover, as believers, we are called to learn from these experiences and grow in our faith. Each time someone leaves us, it is an opportunity to draw closer to God to lean on him for support and to trust in his plan for our lives. It is also a chance to examine our relationships and ourselves, to seek growth and healing, and to become the person God created us to be. So as we continue on this journey called life, let us not be disheartened or discouraged when people leave us. Instead, let us embrace the lessons that these experiences bring, trusting that God is in control and that his love for us is unfailing. Let us remember the stories of Ruth, Joseph, and Jesus and allow their examples to inspire and guide us through the challenges and triumphs that we face. As we walk hand in hand with our Heavenly Father, we can find solace and strength in His presence and trust in His plan for our lives. And as we continue to grow in faith and love, we will come to see that even when people leave us, we are never truly alone. God's love and presence are steadfast, and in the midst of change and uncertainty, we can always find refuge and hope in Him. Consider the story of Job, a man who lost everything, his family, his wealth, and his health. In his darkest moments, he might have felt abandoned by his friends and even by God. Yet in the depths of his despair, Job continued to trust in the Lord and never cursed God, even when his friends urged him to do so. Through his unwavering faith, Job found comfort in the knowledge that God was with him, even when it seemed like everyone else had left. I want to talk about betrayal. Betrayal is something that hurts. It stings. It can make you feel like the world is against you, like you're alone in the fight. But I'm here to tell you that their betrayal is a blessing in disguise. Their actions will lead to a greater good. See, when someone betrays you, it can feel like the end of the world. You may feel like you've lost everything, but what if I told you that their betrayal is actually a gift? 
what if I told you that their betrayal is an opportunity for growth and transformation? Now, I know it may sound crazy. I, how can something as painful as betrayal be a blessing? But hear me out. When someone betrays you, it forces you to reassess your life. It forces you to take a hard look at the people and things you've been holding on to. It forces you to let go of the things that no longer serve you and make room for new blessings. When someone betrays you, it can also show you who your real friends are. It can reveal the people who truly love and support you. And those people are the ones you want in your life. They are the ones who will lift you up and help you become the best version of yourself. But perhaps most importantly, their betrayal can lead you to a deeper relationship with God. It can help you understand that God has a plan for your life. It can help you trust in his guidance and surrender your life to his will. It can help you see that everything happens for a reason and that even the most painful experiences can be used for good. So if you're going through a betrayal right now, don't despair. Don't give up. Remember that their betrayal is a blessing in disguise. It may hurt now, but in the end, it will make you stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. It will lead you to a better life, a better relationship with God, and a better future. So hold on, better days are coming. Keep the faith and trust in God's plan. That's right. Don't let betrayal break you. Don't let it rob you of your joy and your hope. Instead, use it as a stepping stone to greatness. Use it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Use it as a chance to become the best version of yourself. Now, I know it may not be easy. Betrayal can leave deep wounds that take time to heal. It can make you question everything you thought you knew about yourself and the world. But trust me when I say that you can overcome it. You can rise above it. You can use it as a catalyst for change. And when you do, when you emerge stronger and wiser on the other side, you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. You'll see that the very thing that once held you back is now propelling you forward. You'll see that what was meant to destroy you has only made you stronger. So don't let betrayal defeat you. Don't let it overcome you. Instead, use it as a tool for transformation. Embrace the pain and the struggle and let it shape you into the person you were always meant to be. And above all, remember that God is with you every step of the way. He will never leave you or forsake you. He will guide you and strengthen you and lead you to the life of abundance and purpose that he has planned for you. Psalm 27 verse 10 says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Did you hear that? God will take care of you, so hold on, keep the faith, believe in yourself and in the power of God's love, and know that no matter what comes your way, you have everything you need to overcome it. You are strong, you are capable, and you are loved, so go out there and make the most of every opportunity. Use their betrayal as a blessing in disguise, and watch as your life unfolds in ways you never thought possible. See, you have a choice. You can either let betrayal hold you back or use it to propel you forward. You can either let it define you or let it refine you. The choice is yours, but let me tell you this. There is nothing more powerful than a person who has been through betrayal and come out the other side. There is nothing more inspiring than someone who has taken the pain and turned it into purpose. There is nothing more beautiful than a heart that has been broken and mended with love and grace. And that's what I want for you. 